Well, we have some flood warnings issued in the area, including Tippecanoe. Also warned in Fountain Counties and our northern counties and Tippecanoe County is under a flood warning because of the Wabash River. Currently in minor flood stage and this flood warning will expire Thursday morning and also in Covington, the Wabash River as well. Also in minor flood stage and that will expire Thursday night as it does crest by Tuesday morning. We had a system that moved through the area during the day today and it really didn't trigger any snow showers. It mainly affected the southern half of the state and now we're going to start to see clouds start to clear out of the area because mostly clear skies are in the forecast tonight and even through much of the day tomorrow. But we do still see the chance for breezy conditions overnight. The wind should die down a bit as we get closer to the morning hours, but we could still see wind chills down near zero degrees by tomorrow morning. Below average temperatures to start off the work week. We're going to see temperatures just near 40 degrees and our average high is supposed to be around 50. But don't worry, we do have a warm up coming up this week and then also a couple chances for rain later on this week as well. We did only have a high of 30 degrees and yesterday we had a high closer to 50. So we're looking at much colder air and that's because we have wind streaming in from the northeast at 14 miles per hour. Currently 22 degrees in Lafayette seeing mostly clear skies at this hour and temperatures in the 20s, 21 in Kokomo, 21 in Rossville, 23 Crawfordsville, 22 degrees in Fowler and currently 23 degrees up in Rensselaer. Tonight in Lafayette, we're going to fall to 14 degrees. We'll see mostly clear skies, especially after midnight wind chills once again near zero and we could still see wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour possible, especially earlier in the overnight period with temperatures falling into the teens area wide 12 in Winnemac, 11 Rochester, 13 Logansport, 14 in Delphi and only a low of 15 degrees in Attica. And this is our area of high pressure. It's going to move in throughout the day tomorrow, bringing us mostly sunny skies throughout the day until we get to the evening. We'll start to see a few more clouds build in. I'm expecting partly cloudy skies by the day on Tuesday, but we're going to see plenty of sunshine for St. Patrick's Day. 15 at 8 o'clock in the morning, still seeing mostly clear skies. 27 at noon, climbing up to the 39 degrees by 4 p.m. in the afternoon, with highs climbing up into the 40s for our southern counties. 40, 40 in Attica, 39 in Pine Village, upper 30s to our north, 37 Rochester, and 39 degrees in Logansport. And that'll be the coldest day of the week with a high of 39 on Monday. We do bump up to 54 by Tuesday. And notice the temperatures are going to just hang around the 50 degree mark throughout much of the week with a high of 50 on Wednesday, 53 on Thursday, and then climbing up to 61 degrees by next Friday. And that'll be our warmest day of the week. And looking at the week ahead, we do stay dry for the first part. Monday, mostly sunny, 39 degrees for a high. 54 on Tuesday, seeing partly cloudy skies. And then we'll have a chance for rain on Wednesday with a high of 50 degrees bumping back up to 53 on Thursday. And then another chance for rain by Friday night with a high of 61 degrees by then. Then we drop back down to the 40s by next 